We really as a team believe that we can win. Our whole message this week was that we need to believe that we can win. The game's going to win in the minds and uh, you know, I'm a proud South African and he wanted to show the country that uh, if we work together, nothing is impossible. You know, everybody wrote us off and say it's in, impossible to win, yeah? The whole week there was a mindset that we can win. And I think what's very, very important, you know, a lot of things work tonight, but uh, we need to keep our feet out on the ground and stay humble because, uh, you know, I'm very, very proud of the guy, but it's, it's just a win and uh, next week is a bigger challenge. You know, there's a lot of areas. You know, I truly believe that uh, as a coach, I always felt that the first 20 minutes is going to be very, very uh, important because, uh, you know, don't take anything away. They're unbelievable attacking side. And I always knew if they score one or two tries early on, uh, it's going to be difficult, you know, to play catch up away from home. So, uh, you know, I thought the defense was awesome. We uh, spoke about it the whole week that we, we have to be able to win the game without the ball. And I think that's why, we, you know, our scrums were great, our set pieces. But I truly believe we won the game, uh, firstly, in the minds. And secondly, um, you know, without the ball, because we knew the whole message was that, uh, you know, to win, we need to be able to, uh, to score, to tackle more than 150 tackles, because we knew they, uh, if they get momentum, they're a good side. So, but I'm very happy that we, you know, later on, you know, we attacked as well. We wanted the attacking mindset. Yeah, you know, for for a team to go forward and for a team to evolve, you need to learn from your mistakes. And, and certainly we've we've showed that we, that we have learned. Uh, first of all, in, in Mendoza, with the way that we reacted, uh, when we when we were in a similar situation, and um, and and the same tonight, um, we uh, you know last year in Perth we were up by, te- by I think ten points or something at, at one stage in the second half, and and then the Wallabies came back and beat us by seven. So uh, we were in the same situation today, um, and uh, and we were able to capitalise on our opportunities. So uh, the composure was there, and, and and the guys did what was needed. Um, it's still not the perfect performance. By quite a long shot, I think. But um, I, I thought we, we used the opportunities better tonight, and you know we managed to score four tries. So luckily, it, the ball stuck tonight. You need to lay the, the platform and the foundation with the forwards, and, and certainly our forwards did that. Uh, you know, we our, our scrummaging is immense at the moment, and, and you know not not only the starting three, but the three coming on as well. Uh, I think you know our, our scrum is really strong at the moment, and, and the new laws are, are definitely suiting us. Um, and from a defensive point of view, you know, a lot has been said about our, our loose forwards um, and might lack pace. But what they bring to the party is just fantastic, and uh, uh, you know, and I, I love having them in my team. Yeah, I'm very emotional about the win. I want to apologise for my misbehaviour in the in the box. I just get so passionate about my team. Uh, you know, it's going to sound arrogance always easier after a win. Um, you know, I really, really believe in this team. I always knew that we're growing as a team. Yeah, I had some great wins in my career, but for me, it's just, uh, you know, we have to win next week. I'm really looking, uh, probably don't enjoy stuff uh, much. You know, uh, as a coach, you're always just, this is past, you're really thinking about the next game. But uh, I just want to say all credit to the team, you know. Firstly, and I think this is very important that, um, you know, I think my coaching staff and my management team must get all the credit. I'm just probably motivating the team. So they must get all the credit. We really planned well. And, uh, you know, my team must get all the credit. I think the... I won't say the big difference, but the great thing about this team is that certain guys moved to the bench. There was a lot of criticism, and uh, I thought those guys coming on was awesome. I think that's where the game changed. You know, we've got a really, really strong squad, and, and that makes the difference, and we rotate them. So, you know, my captain, my team has get all the credit, and, um, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I truly believe this, uh, this Wallaby side is a good side. I know you and Fields, you know, it's you're almost hiding to nothing. It's your only your first and second game, and then uh, it takes time. So they will be back, and uh, we need to be humble. And next week, and, and even in South Africa, it's going to be a hell of a challenge. You know, I've learned with, 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 with ages and, and with, with time that uh, you know we scored. You know, people believe we can't score tries. I've always had it in my life, so I'm used to that now. But uh, you know, we scored 70 points in, in, in South Africa. Then we struggled away from home, got criticised, and then now we've you know we've, we've scored four tries again. So I've seen in my life, you just get. Get this game out of the way. You know, stay humble. In the next game, you know, it's a it's a it's a tough encounter. So, obviously, you're bold and you, you, the guys are getting mentally stronger, which I like. And I've always said I want a team that's mentally tough. But you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I don't want to look too far, far down the line. There's still three tough games to come, and uh, you know, World Championships waiting. So we need to be focused, keep our feet on the ground, and uh, forget this game and uh, start focusing on the next one.